Hey everyone, welcome to Unboxing the Past, episode two. This one's special because this is my first Marvel piece. I pre-ordered it when it went up for pre-order. I think it sold out super, super fast. I believe the pre-order was in 2004 and it was delivered in 2005. I cannot confirm that. For older pieces from Sideshow, I don't have the emails for the receipts in my account. I think I, like, I changed emails or something. I don't know, but I was very excited to get it. Without further ado, boom! X-Men vs. Sentinel, Diorama, number one, exclusive edition. So exclusive, I think just it lights up. That's the exclusive edition. Which, I mean, why wouldn't you want it to be, uh, uh, why wouldn't you want it to light up? You know what I mean? Uh, you got Cyclops, you got the Sentinel's eyes. Um, this one is sculpted by Pablo, Pablo Vigiano, also traditionally sculpted. We'll talk about, you know, the, the, the traditional sculpt aspects that you can kind of tell when it's traditionally sculpted. But yeah, this sculpt is amazing. Yeah, we'll talk about that. Let's, let's unbox it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, look at this. Gray, oh shit, the box is falling apart. Big time. Uh, gray styrofoam, which is freaking amazing. I don't know why they don't do great styrofoam still. It's, it's gotta be the, high, the highest quality styrofoam of all time, to be honest. Obviously no Velcro straps, but that's okay. That's excusable, they didn't exist then. Okay, so first up, we got the base. It's got the little, uh, I don't know what this is, styrofoam sheet or something? Foam, foam sheet, foam sheet. This is number, Oh, number three, hell yeah, dude. Number three of 650. I think I left the batteries in, which is bad. Oh no, no, I didn't. You don't need batteries. You can, it can it's also AC, it's battery and AC, which is really nice. All right, so there you go. First part, bam. I'll do Cyclops first, yeah, I'll do Cyclops first. So then we got Cyclops. Here's the Cyclops. One of the aspects about the traditional sculpt is teeth. Uh, you know, getting teeth this small traditionally is almost impossible. Uh, or sculpting teeth this small, I mean. Um, look at them. <laughs> but again, it's literally impossible to get them right. But everything else is honestly amazing. This sculpt is amazing. Okay. There's Cyclops. There he is. Next up, we got Colossus. I remember this is another one where like, I thought it was so big when I got it. Ooh, I, ooh, I'm pretty sure I chipped the hair when I was. And this is also another statue that has been put away for like, I don't even know, probably over 10 years as well. Here's the Colossus. All right, All right we got it, boom. Yeah, I remember when I got it, like the leg was so close to touching the sentinel hand. Finally, we've got sentinel head. Also, I mean, it's big, but it's pretty light. It's big, but it's pretty light. All right, this is it. It's an amazing statue. I still think it's amazing. Um, I remember this was highly sought after. And I believe this is one of those sideshow pieces that sold out like the same day it went up for pre-order. I'm pretty sure that happened. Like it, like it did back in the old sideshow days. All right, let's see if this works. Still works after all these years. What is that? Almost 20 years for this too. Still works. See, LEDs, they can last forever. Okay. 
Um, so yeah, I mean, does this statue hold up? I, I, I definitely think it does. I think it's an amazing statue. I think it's one of these statues though that's, you know, obviously people like bigger statues now, um, but you cannot deny the beauty and the art that this statue conveys. It's amazing. Uh, and this is, you know, 20 years old at this point. Really cool light-up feature. Colossus and Cyclops are really well done. I also think people don't like this maybe as much because it's this version of Cyclops. Um, but I mean, Colossus looks amazing. And Cyclops does look amazing. Um, again, it's just not everyone's favorite Cyclops, I don't think. But sculpture-wise, everything looks is really well done. Um, the paint, I would say, the paint is okay. Uh, but again, for the time, it was amazing. This was, there was nothing like this when, when this came out. There was nothing like this, you know? Kind of going from, from bow and stuff, that was amazing as well. Obviously, this some of the best sculpts ever, but very small in comparison to this. So this was this was like next level in regards to marble statues. This was absolutely amazing, right? This is like kind of when like you know you got you went from six to one fourth or one fourth to one third. You started seeing those. It was kind of similar, you know, because this was a one six scale, which at the time wasn't small, uh, and it's a diorama. So um, yeah, I, I really I really think it does hold up. Still one of my favorite pieces. I will never sell it. I just don't want to, it has sentimental value at this point. Um, so yeah, I think it's an amazing statue. Um, shit, where's my phone? Shit. Brian, can you, can you shut my phone off? Someone's calling me, sorry. Um, but yeah, so I mean, I, yeah, I, I'll never sell this piece. I think this is an astonishing, no pun intended, piece. And um, yeah. Can you see who's calling? Can you, can you have my phone, Brian? Can you have my phone? Hello? Hey, Todd, what up, my bub? <sighs> bub? Hey, Sean. How you doing there, buddy? That was, that was Japan. Oh, you remember me, you haven't forgot about me, have you? Come on, you're breaking my balls over here. Hey, I'm having trouble finding these fucking oysters. I looked at Family Mart in Akihabaru, in Shibuya, they ain't here. I don't know where the fuck they are. Okay. I just want a goddamn oyster. Let me stop you there. I, I, I gotta go, dude. You don't have any information on oysters. All you've got is information on high quality collectibles. I'm, I'm doing a video, man. I don't know how you do it. I don't know how you do it, honestly. I don't know how you do this every single time. You're telling me you have no information on oysters working for spec fit. I, dude, I can't. I'm, of course they probably have oysters there, dude. You're in Japan, man. It's like a seafood. Look, I can't do this right now. That's bullshit. I need oysters. Okay. Okay. I'll call you later. All right. Bye. Jesus fuck. Todd. Sorry, guys. Uh, Sean's in Japan. <sighs> Missed the guy, of course, but dear God, you know, he, he never, he is my, he's the bane of my existence. Um, but anyways, back to the statue, okay? Light up feature, phenomenal. Um, lights going off and on. Is the, the, these lights going off and on? Yeah, these are flashing. You got this part flashing. Cyclops visor, these are flashing. I mean, that is freaking amazing. Still holds up in my opinion. The only thing to me that it lacks is, is it, you know, now if this were made, I think the paint job would probably be a little better. Yeah, really well done, really well sculpted. X-Men vs. Sentinel, diorama number one, one six scale by Sideshow Collectibles, exclusive version light up, sculpted by Pablo Vigiano. Oh, the retail price was $300, $300. So pretty, pretty damn good price. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Fuck, I think he's calling again. All right guys, I gotta go. Have a good night uh, and see you next time in the future.